it's Rachel welcome back to my channel and if you're new here welcome today we are doing the final video in my 2018 beauty favorites mini series and we are going over my favorite eyeshadow palettes of 2018 if you pay any attention to what I like when you watch my videos you know I am an eyeshadow palette junkie and I accumulated and tried a lot of eyeshadow palettes in 2018. I pulled them all out, I swatched them all, I played with them all, and I really <laughs> tried to narrow down what was the best of the best that I tried in 2018. And they are not necessarily all released in 2018, but I got them all in 2018. I think most of them were released in 2018 though. <laughs> and I have broken it down into five categories with three palettes in each category, so hopefully there's something for everyone in here. So let's just get on into my favorite palettes of 2018. First, let's start with my neutral palette favorites, which I have broken into two categories, affordable and high-end palettes and we'll start with high-end you know get that sticker shock out of the way my first favorite neutral palette is the persona identity palette this palette is really beautiful i don't believe it was released in 2018 but it is so versatile it has warm tones cool tones mattes shimmers it's great for travel it was created by a YouTuber, I believe, Sona Gasparian. She has a whole line of products, actually, but as you can see, I've used and abused it. I can't say enough good things about this palette. If you've been on the fence about whether or not to check out Persona Cosmetics, I definitely recommend giving the Identity Palette a shot. My next neutral high-end favorite is the Urban Decay Born to Run palette, which was released this year. It is meant to be like the perfect travel palette, and it has all of these pictures of destinations on it, and it folds over conveniently, has a nice big mirror, is really sturdy packaging, and it has like all sorts of colors but even though there are kind of colorful colors in here I would still call this a more neutral palette because I I wouldn't reach for this to create colorful looks I'd reach for this to create everyday wearable looks and Urban Decay has in the past been hit and miss with their eyeshadow formula but this is a huge hit. The formula on the shimmers and the mattes is really good. And I, I love this palette so, so much. The last favorite for the year in the neutral high-end category is going to give you a sticker shock. It is the Viseart Grand Pro. It is an all-matte palette. It has basically any matte you would ever want it sorry they have a grand pro volume 2 now so this is the volume 1 and when it originally came out it was $175 it's now dropped down I think to $150 because you don't get this special sleeve and everything but it's a very expensive palette but if you want like a solid collection of mattes that you can depend on that you can always go to or if you're like a makeup artist and you need a palette like this, the quality is out of this world and I really recommend it. Next we have my favorite affordable neutral palettes for 2018. My first favorite I've done a video on, it is the L'Oreal Paradise Enchanted Palette. And it's all these peachy colors right here. It smells like peaches. Oh, it smells so amazing and this is such great quality not especially for the drugstore it's just great quality straight up really if I were like going to a job where I wore makeup and I would wear makeup on a daily basis this would probably be one of my everyday go-to like work appropriate palettes to wear 
The next affordable palette I've also done a video on, it is the Sweet Nothings palette from ColourPop. It is all of these purpley tones right here. It is so, so, so beautiful. And even though it's purpley toned, I still consider this to be neutral to me because these aren't bright, these aren't bold, these are still wearable, like, everyday colors. Like, if I feel like I could wear it to an office job or a professional workplace, to me, it's not colorful, it's not bright or bold, this is neutral. And the ColourPop eyeshadow formula is one of my all-time favorites. It is so, so good, and they are so consistent. Every palette, every single, everything I try from ColourPop is on the same level of quality, and this is no exception. I'm really bummed that it was limited edition and they said it's not coming back, but I just had to include it because it is a favorite. My last neutral favorite is the Arabesque palette by Bad Habit. It is the dupe for the ABH Soft Glam palette. I always want to say Soft Clam. <laughs> Remember that joke going around? And it is basically this all like brown palette. I don't know how Bad Habit does it, but every palette I try from them, like they're so, so stinking cheap. But they're so pigmented and so blendable and just so fan freaking tastic. I don't know how they do it. And and this is just like the perfect like basic brown palette. Like I I know it's a rip off and a lot of people have a problem with copycats and all that, but but I I really don't and I really really enjoy the Arabesque palette and to be honest I've tried the Prism and the Aura palette, and I liked the Aura palette better, so I think I would probably prefer this to the Soft Glam anyway, because I'm not, like, the hugest fan of ABH's formula. The next category is Colorful and Neutral All-in-One Palette. And this is all affordable palettes. I'm really excited that all my favorites were affordable. And I think two of them you can get at Ulta. So that's really, really exciting. My first favorite of neutral and colorful is the Beach Cosmetics Royal Affair palette. And to me, this has that bright green, that pink, that dark green. Like, those are colors you can't wear to a professional workplace. Those are bold, bright colors. So it is a mix of neutral and colorful, but it is mostly neutral. And this, to me, is like a perfect fall palette. It is so great. And the Beach Cosmetics formula on these particular, like, 20 pan palettes, they nailed it. They are so, so good, and I I definitely think you should go check out the BH Cosmetics website because they're always having sales, and you can usually get a decent discount on their products, but this is a favorite for sure. The next favorite that you can probably get at Ulta because ColourPop is now at Ulta is the ColourPop Good Sports Palette. This is really similar to the Royal Affair Palette from BH, but it's still slightly different, but it's like one of those like dream fall palettes and I'm so, so into it. The dark pinks, the green, the yellow, oh, I love it so much. And like I said, ColourPop quality is top notch. So if you find a ColourPop palette with a color scheme you like, even if you're not drawn to the good sport like I am, go for it because the shadow quality is that good. The last colorful and neutral palette that is just so good and I think you can still get it on ColourPop's website is the Zodiac palette with Kathleen Lights. This is to me more of a summertime palette but it is so stunning. The colors are just so fun and you have some wearable everyday colors, some bright, you know, not professional colors. It's, it's a good mix and 
the packaging is so cute too so out of all of the palettes that I tried this year which I think I counted and I tried like 50 palettes this year like these are the best of the best the next category is my favorite category. I'm so excited. It is my top favorite colorful palettes for 2018. I love bright and colorful eyeshadows so much. That's what really rocks my boat. And these are just uh, the best. And I'm so excited to share them with you. So the first one that I have, I did a dedicated video on. I really was blown away by this. It is the Davina Blue Betch collection. It is a collection of single shadows. It doesn't come with these highlighters anymore, but they sell it together in a 12 pan palette, so I consider it a palette. It was meant to like kind of make fun of Tarte because Tarte pulled that April Fool's joke with that blue and green palette. And uh, I'm so glad Tarte did that April Fool's joke because this is phenomenal and Davina shadows are some of the best. The only thing is they're really, really fragile so I'm scared to travel with them but they blend almost like my Vizier shadows. They are that good. My next favorite for 2018 out of colorful palettes is the Beach Cosmetics Weekend Festival palette. These are the colors right here. As you can see, I have used and abused this palette and it is really just unbelievable how in intense these shades are. Like, these are just some mattes and then some shimmers. Oh my god, they're so insane. And you get such a cool variety of colors and you get a mirror and it's so affordable i i really recommend picking up the weekend festival palette my final favorite for colorful palettes for 2018 is the blush tribe hasina 2 palette this is a cool tone palette with purples blues and greens and it is just so good like it reminds me of Juvia's Place as far as the formula, but better. Because with Juvia's Place, I had higher expectations because they were so hyped up and I was kind of disappointed. And like when I touch these shadows and I use them, they remind me of Juvia's Place, but they're they're what I hoped Juvia's Place would would be. And Blush Tribe seems like a really cool indie brand. I'm really happy to support them. And I'm excited to see what they come out with in 2019. The final category I have for my favorite eyeshadow palettes of 2018 is my honorable mentions. Because these ones, I was so excited about them. I wanted to mention them. They didn't make the top three of any category. So I just want to mention them uh, in their own category <laughs> so that you you know I still think these ones are really really good so the first one is the bare minerals gen nude latte palette it is a six pan palette they do have these in different color stories for different skin tones I think this is the one for like deep skin tones or something it's really really stunning the formula on the shadows are good so if one of the color stories in these mini palettes speaks to you I would go for it unfortunately I don't agree with the layout of like most of their palettes but the latte one the latte one I am in love with and I can really get behind and I don't know if you can tell but I'm putting putting a dip in those shadows so I really do love this palette the next palette that is an honorable mention for 2018 is the Dominique Cosmetics Lemonade Palette. It looks like this beautiful summery colors and it does have a really nice mirror in there and this has made me want to go try more Dominique Cosmetics because these mattes blew me away the shimmers the shimmers are good but the mattes blew me away and I feel like I I need more Dominique cosmetics in my life based on this palette it is so so good I really recommend it 
my final favorite for 2018 and the reason it's an honorable mention is because I just got this for Christmas so I've only been playing with it for about a week but I'm already so in love with it and it is the NYX Sugar Trip palette if you can still find it on sale after the holidays I highly recommend it it can't even though it looks like crazy colorful it can create both neutral and colorful looks and the shadows are buildable so they're not too pigmented and like too hard to work with I think the layout of it is so unique and I really really love this palette even though I just got it so those were all my favorite palettes for 2018 let me know down in the comments what your favorite palette was this year I'd love to hear what you guys have to say thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button if you have not already I will see you guys next time bye